started from, from us just running a, a few small parties. I guess it was never really a thing about being big nights and being like a big party. It was never really like that. It was just always about just running something we wanted to hear, you know? The direction that AD took was always about doing stuff which hadn't been done or trying to do stuff that hadn't been done. What we did in 2011 was bring back artists who weren't always performing um, and put them with guys who, who I guess were a little bit more obvious. We've always been doing parties for a long time and I think the musicality behind them, we just wanted it to, I guess, just be a little bit more exciting, a little bit more fun. <laughs> Donut Scissors trying to do something different within a circuit of stuff that seems to be regurgitated and I think we fit on the boundaries of all different types of music rather than just club music. I think that's kind of what we're just going to continue to do, to put out the music we like to put on the parties we want to and hopefully keep doing what we love doing. The night tried to be an amalgamation of everything we love about what we do in the music and the label. So we had a real mixture of people playing so we had like the houseier stuff um, with Marshall Jefferson and Roy Davis Jr and then we had a lot of the newer stuff which is coming out on the label. It was really exciting I guess for us to see something which is why well, it's never been done before you're never ever going to see Roy Davis Jr and Marshall Jefferson playing the same party again in London anyway. The progression has taken us from such a small level doing small free parties to big 1,500 people shows and like major lineups. From the festivals internationally and everything like that, it's put us in a real lucky position. And I think that if, as long as we don't take it for granted, then we can really take it to another level. 